My name is Diego Olivares. I'm a filmmaker and photographer based in Harupa Valley, California. And the film I submitted is titled Mission Tiki on Film. It's a documentary where I documented the final weekend of the Mission Tiki swap meet after six to seven years. I did notice a vibe change when I came uh, earlier this week. A lot of the vendors just seemed like they knew this time would come, but only now are they actually going to start closing it down. So I hope the people in the community come out and then I just, I just hope I can do it justice and capture that. Uh, my experience as an IE filmmaker, uh, it's been a great one. I've honestly met my closest friends and collaborators through the scene. So honestly, it's, it's given me nothing but like wonderful memories with wonderful people. <laughs> like Griff. <laughs> Why did I submit my film to the festival? Honestly, I was pretty hesitant to submit my film because uh, in my eyes, the story isn't done. I've been working on a series that for the past couple of years where I documented the swap meet scene. Uh, because of that, I want to continue to do so for the next three years. That being said, I submitted my film to the festival because it's just one example of property getting bought out for warehouse expansion. I guess, uh, I guess my fear is that uh, we're going to lose more communal spaces to commercialize capitalism and even automation. What does the IFF mean to me? I think it means a lot for other filmmakers that are based out here, you know, in the Inland Empire. Like, it, it's a big deal. I think there's so many talented filmmakers who want to showcase their work. And for us to have the opportunity to do so at the IFF, you know, is like a it's just a giant step forward. Why do I make movies? I make movies because uh, I'm a storyteller uh, and a collaborator. So I just hope I get to connect with other people through my work. And you know, like cinema is that collaborative medium where we get to do so. Un saludo a la gente latina. Me puedes encontrar at the Inland Film Festival en el 20 de abril. Adiós.